The question we get a lot of times from agricultural producers and homeowners is, what do I do with my agricultural plastic waste or my containers? Homeowners use a lot of these containers to grow their transplants in, and they also use them, buy them from the local garden centers. Agricultural producers throughout the uh, state use plastic mulch and drip irrigation for the production of their crops. At the end of the season, they ask, what do you do with it? They don't want to go ahead and throw it away, and they don't want to landfill it. So at Penn State, we've developed a solution for this problem. The first step in the process is to take your plastic trays or your flats or your plastic pots and go ahead and granulate them up into smaller pieces, as you see here. That will be used in the uh, burner to go ahead and generate hot water. We can use a wide variety of plastics. The only plastic that we wouldn't want to use is polyvinyl chloride. We can use all the other plastics and burn them very efficiently and very effectively with uh, little or no emissions. I want to tell you how the plastic is burned. The plastic is put in at a hopper in back and then it goes ahead and augured into a combustion chamber where the plastic burns at 2000 degrees Fahrenheit. That is a critical temperature for complete combustion of the plastics, which results in very, very low emissions. The combustion of the plastic at 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit then heats hot water to 164 degrees Fahrenheit, which can be used to heat greenhouses, high tunnels, or other structures. We hope that in the near future, we can capture the fuel value that is trapped in agricultural plastics to go ahead and generate heat in an environmentally friendly manner. A copy of the program you've just seen can be purchased through Penn State Media Sales at mediasales.psu.edu or by calling 800-770-2111.